In this After Effects tutorial, I'll show you how to add this warping transition to a background. So let's get started with this simple clip here that I've got. And the first thing we want to do is rotoscope our subject. So I will duplicate my clip here, Control D. Let's rename this to Roto. I will select my Roto brush tool and double click my clip. Now with the Roto brush, as always, you just want to get a good first frame and then it will be able to do its magic. Now if you alt click and then create a stroke, it will deselect a certain area. Let me go ahead and fix this. All right. And another cool thing is if you hold down control and go left and right, it will actually increase the size of your brush. So this is just a useful tip in case you didn't know. So playing forward a few frames here, looks like we got a pretty good mask. I'm going to go ahead and hit on freeze here. So the roto brush will freeze. Okay. Now let's go back into our main composition. And if we solo the layer, you can see we got the rotoscope, which looks pretty good. Now, to create this effect, I kind of want to get rid of our main subject from the background. Now, the way we can do this is I'm just going to select these two and hit Ctrl D to duplicate. Let's bring that down here and isolate them. Now, I'm going to select my main layer here and make it a track mat to my roto layer. Then I will invert it. And now I basically got a mask around our character, only showing the background. Let's pre-compose this. And we'll call this the start. And then we'll go into the content aware field. And I'm going to expand the alpha just a bit here. So maybe eight, make sure we are on object and we only need like a couple of seconds. So let's say right about here so we can shorten our layer and this will be good enough. Let's go ahead and hit generate fill. Now we've got a pretty rough result here, but this will be just fine for our effect. So let's select the fill layer and the distort layer and pre-compose them once again. And we'll drop it down here. Now let's add the main effect for the background and we'll be using CC flow motion. Now with this effect, we can basically create some distortions which are kind of acting like a black hole, getting sucked inside in a way. And what I want to do here is just place these two in the center or you can place them anywhere you want in your composition. And let's set the amount to something like 200 and maybe 150. And I'll go into my fall off set a keyframe on the first frame and maybe go to one second here and let's bump it up to maybe three. So this is the effect we're getting here. We can see it's sort of distorted and then goes back to normal. Now, another effect I want to add here to kind of transition in the background is a simple gradient wipe. Let's make sure we drop it above our flow motion. I'll set the softness to 50. Let's bump the completion to 100. And we just want to set two keyframes. So let's say about here, set it to zero. Let's hit U to bring up the keyframes. We'll select them all, hit F9, and let's see the result. So lastly, let's just blend in the main background. So right about here where the transition is completed, I'll set two opacity keyframes for the main background. So from zero to hundred over a couple of frames and hit F9. So once the transition is complete, the main background will just overwrite the distortion and we can get rid of it up until here. So this is how easy it is to create this type of effect. I hope you found this tutorial useful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.